the crowd seemed very disappointed in your guys' scores tonight. Is it nice to know that you have that kind of support out there? It's, it's great. You know, um, it's been like this week in and week out. So we know one thing about it is we have that fan support. Um, judges may not be on our side every week, but it's okay. We'll get, we'll get it sooner or later. Well, now, it wasn't a low score, but what, what do you think uh, the disappointment was with that score? Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, they just are looking for something that we're not giving them right now, and I'm not sure what it is. As you go week to week, does, uh, do your nerves increase or do they decrease? My nerves only increase Wednesday through Sunday, and then after that, Monday, I don't have any nerves. I just go out and perform. Yeah, the same with me, actually. We just let it all go. Can't do anything else right now when you're on the stage, so that's it. Now I have to ask you a very serious question. Uh, the Chmerkovsky, uh sandwich looks delicious. Is it as delicious as it appears? Oh, my God. It should be on the menu of every restaurant in the United States. It is, it is every woman's dream. You know and when Harry met Sally, when she says, I'll have what she's having? Every woman in America should have what I had. When you were alone with the, with the two young men, I want you to be honest, and remember, there is security here. Did they ever try to shake you down for secrets about the good old red, white, and blue, you know, to take back to Mother Russia? <laughs> That's very good. I'm laughing because it, it actually happened. I'm laughing because I have to pretend that they didn't. Yeah. Did you hear that? Catherine, Mark, how are you? I think we've been better. Yeah, and not to harp on uh, what's on everybody's mind, obviously, but... How do you feel about not only the uh, the unfortunate incident with the clothing, but how you handled it? I think we should call this Trousergate. And Trousergate. You know, like Watergate? Oh. This is Trousergate. Pantgate. Pantgate. Oh, Pantgate. Well, here in America, Bill Clinton already went through Trousergate, unfortunately, so that name's been copyrighted. <laughs> oh, let's not call it that. Okay, so Pantgate. <laughs> it was a disaster in that um, when the guys ripped my, shit, my, my outfit off, it's perfectly in half so I thought it had gone really smoothly and then I look down and I think oh my gosh I don't even know how it's worth that half a trouser leg is still there the, the fact that the leg was still on was like why is the leg still on it doesn't make any sense we think it was sabotaged you couldn't you couldn't do that again if you tried no no it doesn't make the, the thing was like like velcroed like this and it was all attached so when I ripped it off and the whole leg is still on her leg. I looked at Tristan and I was like, why is the trouser leg on? Why is the trouser leg on? I was panicking. And you know what? It was at that moment that I just thought, I have to carry on. I don't have time to stop and pick this up. If I do, it's going to look pathetic. So I just carried on dancing, you know, come here, boys. And somehow or other, it was a joint effort. We managed to kick it off. I, I was very impressed. You kind of like, wham, karate style. Uh, but I have to give you credit that it didn't seem to uh, prohibit you from dancing and getting your moves correctly. Um, we carried on. I might have looked like I was in control, but underneath I was screaming. I think we all were. Yeah, I, w I was definitely, there was 15 seconds of blackout in my world. I was panicking. Uh, you know, I was just dancing like crazy and I ripped my dress. See that? Yep. Yep. Chelsea, be honest. No, when that happened. Do you feel like you ripped it dancing or that his raw sexual electricity just tore it right? Uh, it might have been the latter. I am not exactly sure. Could but have been the abs. Could have been the abs. No. One of the two. Just punched the Those hole right there. Dude, Speaking of the apps, first off, beautiful. Great work, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, I know you were a bit hesitant to kind of expose this area of the body, but now that you've done it... Hey, you know, uh, that's not my judgment. I got to see what the, what the world thinks, but... Uh, I, I'm proud about it. I don't even actually work too hard on it, and uh, I'm just skinny. <laughs> I'm just skinny, and that's what shows. How has it been uh, trying to kind of harness the the crazy fanfare over uh, Mr. Levy? It's, I think it's seriously, honestly, that I've never heard the ballroom go this crazy before for anybody. So it's um, it's been at the first few weeks, it was like, oh my gosh, you know. But you know, then you start getting used to that where you can't even hear the music, you can't even hear the orchestra. Yeah. On a serious note, has it at all been overwhelming how, how people have received you? Love never gets overwhelming, man. It's like, this is beautiful, you know, I enjoy it so much, you know, and, and I'm just trying to go with it, you know, because uh, at the end of all, like you say, sometimes you don't hear the music, but it's fine. At the end of all, you are entertaining people, and this is our job, so, you know. I'm sorry, I was looking in your eyes, so I didn't hear a word you said. Um, it's enchanting. You're truly enchanting. <laughs> Before we came over here, man. 
Uh, nothing but a tall glass of William Levy.